uh, we will continue our discussion on limits of functions. Um, uh, this time we are going to look at irrational functions. All right. Uh, so um, let's consider this function f of x equals fraction line. It's square root of 2x squared minus 3 minus square root of x squared plus 1 over x minus 2. Uh, like we mentioned in a previous video, um, whenever you are given a function like this, first of all, you need to look at the domain uh, definition for this function. Okay, This function is a fraction to begin with, so the denominator of it has to be uh, different from zero. All right, But also, uh, we notice a couple of um, square roots as being part of the numerator, uh, so this expression is underneath the square root, uh, which are 2x squared minus 3, and x squared plus 1 have to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, x squared plus 1, uh, there's no problem with it, it's also always a positive number, but 2x squared minus 3 has to be greater than or equal to 0. All right, so normally the student would actually um, solve uh, this in equation here and will uh, actually determine the domain of definition of this function. But I'm going to skip over that because uh, what I want to do is I just want to compute uh, the limit of this function when x approaches 2. All right, so uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, whenever we've got a limit to compute, we need to figure out what's the problem. Okay, so if we replace x by 2 in uh, the expression that defines f, we obtained uh, the following expression, which is actually 0 over 0. So we have uh, an, uh, an undetermined uh, situation, which means that we have to work on it again. All right. Now, um, because of the fact that this uh, numerator of this fraction is an irrational expression, okay, uh, the way we approach this is by actually amplifying this fraction, this original fraction of ours, with this expression. All right. So we multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the same expression, which is the conjugate of the original numerator of our fraction. Okay, uh, so if we do so, uh, instead of having this uh, not so nice uh, numerator, we get this nice numerator, all right? Uh, and uh, the good thing about it is the fact that, that now uh, the numerator is x squared minus 4, which can be factored by x minus 2 times x plus 2. So, so this is the new format of our function. And... I like this format because it allows us to simplify the x minus 2, so our expression becomes just this. All right, so now we changed our f of x from this fraction into this fraction by amplifying again with the conjugate um, of the numerator. So, so now we, we notice that the, numerator, the denominator of this fraction is not um, a problem anymore. Okay, it's actually a positive number all the time. So we can actually go ahead and replace uh, and, and compute limit when x approaches 2 of f of x uh, by saying that this limit is equal to limit when x approaches 2 of fraction line x plus 2 over the sum of the square roots. And if we replace x by 2 in this expression, we get uh, a decent number. Okay, so it turns out that the limit that we were looking at um, from the very beginning of this video is 2 square root of 5 over 5. So one way of computing limits, especially when uh, the undetermined case is 0 over 0 and one or both of the um, numerator and denominator involved in this fraction are uh, irrational functions is by amplifying with the conjugate. 